Hey guys, it's Christina Blackfeather and um, I got a tarot deck for my birthday. Um, my wife bought it for me and so I'm going to review it. I did take the plastic off and did an initial peek inside the box and uh, that's as far as it has gone. So the rest of it you guys are seeing with me. Um, this is the Mar Marvel Tarot Deck and Guidebook. And of course, there's my favorite Marvel character right there, Doctor Strange. So, yeah. Um, one thing I was pretty impressed with is this book itself is an actual book. It's not a pamphlet. Uh, kind of like the Game of Thrones um, set that I've got that has an actual book as well. Uh, this tarot deck is not one that I plan on actually using this. I have a couple that I are collectible ones that I don't actually take out, and this is one of them. Um, I have a, a 15th century uh, German one, too, that's uh, gold-leafed and stuff that I don't use, and then the Game of Thrones one I don't use either. So let's delve into this. The Fool, of course, is Deadpool. That's that's always fun. That kind of fits him. Although I don't think he's a fool. He's a lot smarter than he lets on. He's just crazy. So this is what the back of the cards look like. Oops, there we go. These are done by actual Marvel artists, too. This is not a secondary company doing these. So, Magician is, of course, Doctor Strange. That's so cool. I need that as a poster. Uh, the High Priestess. Is that Storm? There's some characters I'm not familiar with yet at all. I do apologize, because I didn't start anything with comic books until, well, until we got married here, because... Um, I just wasn't allowed to when I was a kid, except for like Archie and old Bugs Bunny and stuff. And that was when I was at visiting my uh, uh, step grandparents, not uh, at home. So I really was not allowed any comics. So of course I have no clue who this is either. I'm I'm just shameful, but still really pretty artwork for the Empress. Oh, I suppose if I looked at the guidebook, maybe that would tell me. Let's see. Ah, uh, no, it's just saying like prepping. Okay. Oh, here we go. Let's see if it says. Okay. So, of course, the magician is Stephen Strange. Oh, I was right. The high priestess is Storm. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, the invisible woman, Sue Storm Richards, is the empress. Okay. The emperor should be Reed. Yep, Reed Richards, the emperor. Ah, sorry, I'm blocking this here. So, yep. Yeah. Sorry. And of course, we've got Professor X, Xavier. He's cool. I'm glad they kind of, it does look like they did a little Patrick Stewart esque uh, type art on that one, which is good. He's awesome. And Spider Man and Mary Jane Watson. As the lovers. Mm. That's really cool. Artwork is so fantastic. And the chariot, Captain America, Sam Wilson. Mm. This artwork is so insane. Well, that's what you get when you get actual Marvel artists doing this. And Jennifer Walters is strength. She-Hulk. Mm. kind of doing this too so so my wife can hear it because uh she'd have to have the magnification on to be able to see these 
Um, the Hermit Silver Surfer. Mm. That's a pretty card. They're all pretty, and they're really super thick, too. They're very nice. And the Wheel of Fortune is Gambit. Mm. Remy LeBeau. That's, I gotta learn a lot of these characters yet. <laughs> uh, Daredevil, Matt Murdock. Yeah, I know that one. <laughs> it's Justice. Okay. That's awesome. Hanged Man is Bucky. The Winter Soldier. That is really cool. That poor character had been through heck and back. Death is Phoenix Jane Grey. <laughs> she died so many times. <laughs> and Temperance is Shang-Chi. Oh. The devil, Mr. Loki himself. <laughs> okay, I didn't get two cards in there. All right. And the tower is Galactus. Oh, yeah. And if you hear brr in the background, um, my wife's getting schmirgled by Blom. Uh, the star, Photon, Monica Rambo. Oh. Marvelous. Of course. Can we all guess who the moon is? Moon Knight. Yeah, Mark Spector. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> That's awesome. And the sun, Miss Marvel, Kamala Khan. Judgment, the Black Panther, T'Challa. That makes sense. And the world is Carol Danvers, Captain Marvel. I'm not the biggest fan of that character. But, you know, we all have our tastes. King of Wands is Beast, Hank McCoy. <laughs> Looks so thoughtful. Queen of Wands is Ironheart, Riri Williams. Knight of Wands is Shuri. That's a cute card. Page of Wands, the Human Torch, Johnny Storm. And Ace of Wands is the Staff of One. Sarah Bro is the Two of Wands. Cerebro, maybe? Cerebro. Shush! 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 I did not. I did not. No. Well, like I said, a lot of these I'm not familiar with, and I should have figured Cerebro. Duh! That's how you pronounce it. I'm not going to be going to the pharmacy asking for... Uh, and Tammy will sing, Tam Salosan. Um, my wife's introduced me to some YouTuber who um, uh, is a nurse and has heard the weirdest pronunciations of medication names. And I was sitting there, I got most of them right. <laughs> but 
funny. It was funny. <laughs> so I'm doing the same here. So Lockheed is the three of wands. Uh -oh. The little bitty dragon. <laughs> Jubilee's fireworks is the four of wands. Oh, I see how they're doing it. Okay, that's one card. Okay. Five of wands is the zodiac key. Six of Wands is the Wand of Watum. I should know what it is, but I don't. I think it was Wu's weapon. Seven of Wands is Jane Foster's helmet. Eight of Wands is Space Stone. Oh, that's right. Nine of Wands is Daredevil's Billy Clubs. How many bruises you're going to have in one hit? Nine. <laughs> Ten of Wands is Ultron's Helmet. Yeah, artwork is just gorgeous. Now we'll get into the cups. We have the King of Cups, of course, is Vision. Okay. Squirrel Girl is Queen of Cups. <laughs> I'm not familiar with that one. <laughs> uh, Cyclops is the Knight of Cups. Scott Summers. Miles Morales, Spider-Man, is Page of Cups. Iceman's Powers is the Ace of Cups. Oh, I think I know what they're doing here, too. Two of Cups is Wiccan and Hulkling. A lot of this I don't know. Huge world. I got a lot to go. Yeah. <laughs> that. Come on. Open. Gimme. Is that one card? Yeah. Okay. Nope. That, I, that was two. Thought so. Come. Give, give me that. Okay. So, the Three of Cups is Luke Cage and Iron Fist. Oh, my gosh. I I met Mark Coulter in 2019 at GalaxyCon. That man is huge. He is so muscled, and I mean, he's got to be, what, 6'3 or something like that? And yeah. I'm, I'm 5'0 foot and standing next to him, and I just felt so tiny. Oh, my gosh. And I was fangirling so bad. Oh, my gosh. He is one handsome fellow. Tall drink of water he is. Okay, the time stone is the four of cups. Can't tell I kind of crush out a little bit, can you? <laughs> Five of cups is the crescent dart. If I can get it out. Okay, that's it. They're coming out of the box. I can't reach in there anymore. Pretty box, too. <laughs> so here we go. Five of Cups would be the Crescent Dart. <laughs> Six of Cups is Lucky the Pizza Dog. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, poor one-eyed Lucky. Seven of Cups is the Dark Hold. Imagination and illusion, indecision and deception, fantasy and dreams with infinite options runneth over with the seven of cups. Too many big dreams and delusions of grandeur corrupt your purpose. When using the dark hold, 
You can lose your mind with the seductive siren call of possibilities and power. Your head's in the clouds with exciting yet untethered dreams. Ground yourself and focus on one thing at a time. Only action transforms dreams into reality. Reverse this card would be temptation clouds your choices, like the seductive spells within the dark hold. The dark magic of divisionary dreams muddies the waters of your waking world. Confusion caused by illusion, forever existing in a waking dreamscape, only drains your emotions dry. Wake up under reality's running waters. Go forward with focus and clarity of purpose. So when they say reversed with a deck, that's when you pull it and lay it out and it's upside down like this. This would be reversed. So the soul stone is the eight of cups. I thought the dark hold was interesting. I, I like the way they translated that one. Domino's luck is the nine of cups. <laughs> she was an interesting character. I liked her. Oh, she's always been. Jeff the land shark is the ten of cups. And he's got Deadpool's mask in his teeth. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Okay, now I'm a little confused. King of Swords is Thor, wielding his hammer for swords. Okay, um, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> Queen of Swords is Electra. That makes sense. Yeah. But Thor? Well, I suppose they had to stick him somewhere. Yeah. Knight of Swords is Misty Knight. Nice. Page of Swords is Ghost Spider Gwen Stacy. Oh. I have a shirt with her on it. Found it at a thrift store for five bucks. I was like, yeah. Ace of Swords, Excalibur. Yeah. Two of Swords, Electra's Twin Psy. Three of Swords, you're going to love this one. Wolverine's Claws. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Four of Swords is the Mind Stone. That's two cards in hand again. There we go. Five of Swords is the Power Stone. Angel's Wings is the Six of Swords. Seven of Swords is the Cosmic Cube. Eight of Swords is Dr. Octopus's Tentacles. There, I was able to get that out. Nine of Swords is Venom Symbiote. They're not very um they don't try to be happy hokey with these either that's that's good yeah ten of swords is the ebony blade Harrington. the king of cups iron man tony stark Who's into what over there? Oh, she's just up on the table. Trying to get into the potato chips. Queen of Cups, or Queen of Coins is Black Cat. I was going to say, I thought we did cups already. Yeah, we did. We're on coins, never mind. So yeah, Tony Stark being the King of Coins makes a lot of sense. Black Cat's cute. Dang. Shh. Knight of Coins, Ant-Man. 
<laughs> Groot! He's the page of coins, Groot! I have several Groots. <laughs> Ace of coins is baby Groot. Small Groot, not baby Groot. Small Groot. Oh, gosh. Iron Man's gauntlet is the two of coins. Three of coins is the X-Men symbol. Four of coins is the bloodstone amulet. I'd like something looking like that. That's cool. Make that as a cover inside of a pocket watch. I should see if there's something like that out there. I'm sure somebody's duplicated this. Yeah. I just got to find it. Scarlet Witch's Wimple is the Five of Coins. Captain America's Shield is the Six of Coins. It doesn't want to leave the table. And the Reality Stone is the Seven of Coins. Black Widow's Gauntlet is Eight of Coins. Yep, I'm hitting the bottom. It's getting hard to pick the cards up. <laughs> Black Panther's Claw Necklace is the Nine of Coins. And the Ten of Coins is the Drossel. I, I don't know. I think they could have organized a little bit of this better. Like had like the claws should have been, claw necklace probably could have been under swords. Um, but they're looking for meaning, not. Yeah, that's true. They're they're not looking for. Uh, they're not going on just obvious meaning on some of it. Yeah. But overall, I I think this is a really beautiful deck. Oops, I got everybody upside down. Oh, I got just them guys upside down. I got I got Deadpool and Doctor Strange upside down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there would be another one I would totally just go fangirl over is meeting Benedict Cumberbatch. Oh my gosh. I would fangirl over Benedict Cumberbatch, too. What do you mean? <laughs> I'd be like, eh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who do you fangirl over, Smaug or Doctor Strange? <laughs> you know? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Absolutely both. What was that? He was on the Graham Norton show, and... And Graham had Benedict do smog, and the woman sitting next to him is like, I don't know if I should be terrified or turned on. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> yeah, so there we go. It is a very, very gorgeous deck. And, um, yeah, this, this one is going right in the bookcase to be seen by me daily. It's like my Game of Thrones one, too. <laughs> I have certain things that go on the collectible shelf, you know. So. so there we go. That is the Marvel Tarot deck and guidebook. I'd say definitely worth the purchase. Um, and I don't know if I'd be using this one or not. I'm not really sure because it's pretty. I hate to crinkle it. But those cards are pretty heavy card stock. I don't think they're going to bend or crease easily. It's going to take some effort. So very quality deck, quality book, and definitely quality art on the cards. You can't beat the art on these cards. 
So there you go, everybody. I hope you had a good time with me and a good time with my wife. And we will talk to you later. Blessed be everyone. Have a great day and take care.